De quels repères disposons-nous pour penser un What parcours éducatif et de développement durable Quels repères disposons-nous pour penser un parcours éducatif et de développement durable D'abord, nous devons penser à la idée en tant que telle. Le développement durable est une idée politique, une idée proactive. Et dans le contexte scolaire et éducatif, il devrait être pensé sous l'angle du développement humain et soumis aux contraintes de l'environnement. Ensuite, nous devons penser à l'éducation. L'éducation est souvent pensée en termes d'informations faites ou de communication ou de dissémination de connaissances. Mais il s'agit d'un paramètre essentiel pour nous développer parameter for the idea of development, sustainability, durability, because it is both a source of difficulties and problems, but also solution brought to those problems. Therefore, education must be thought with the uh, following objectives in mind. How do we repossess the stakes of uh, sustainable development? Secondly, reflect about the implications of acts and decisions. Find solutions collectively because the solutions are not predefined but must be found collectively. And finally, comparing the action with the constraints of collective action. Now, in official documents, people talk about education to choices. But what about education to choices? We need to understand the context of the choice. Otherwise, the choices will be made in a formal way, very remote from real decisions regarding the uh, acting subjects freedom to decide. We're talking about the capacity to build a capacitating environment, an environment that will give pupils the possibility to live different experiences, diversity of possible things. It's a collective responsibility also, and uh, individual and collective responsibilities should be compared. Can they be the object of education? We think that there are three pathway, pathways here. The first pathway is uh, the dispositional pathway, whereby dispositions or provisions will be incorporated uh, as we discover new educational situations. The second pathway is that of culture culture and uh, scientific disciplines to back the culture in order to find a better way to repossess the world. And finally, the last pathway is the spiritual one, which involves uh, to get to know oneself better with meditation in order to understand the divide between what I am and what I think I am, thinking about the implications of the gap between the two. The three pathways are not alternative pathways. How can I phrase this? They should be connected during moments of reflexivities, critical times, during which one is supposed to think about one's experience and the real educational trail. Therefore, for this educational trail, we have to place ourselves in a situation where we can transform ourselves and transform the world at the same time. Transforming oneself and the world means to change the relationship we have with the world, with the living beings, with nature, with oneself and others, and change the relationship with sciences and techniques. The ultimate aim being that of uh, reducing uh, social inequalities. Very often we think we're only dealing with social inequalities, but we should add environmental inequalities or even inequalities in terms of health status. And they could be the ultimate goal of the educational trail for the benefit of a kind of development which has become sustainable.